Hey everybody, it's Rick O'Shea playing MPQ Marvel Puzzle Quest. Thanks for jumping on once again the brand new Gwen Pre event. It's more like a feature or a special is open and it seems like it's going to be a lot of fun. There's some special fanfic uh, written by Gwen Pool. Uh, she's always funny. The writers do a good job with with uh, her and uh, Deadpool's commentary in their events. And this one should be great. It's kind of neat, you have to choose one or the other nodes that are presented here each day. And it starts with pretty low rewards and then they get better each day as we go along through. So it's not a huge um, effort and uh, simple and fun is all is what it's all about. And so uh, let me know what you guys are chose to do yourself. You're not locked in once you hit this uh, morning from Doctor Strange, you can go on through to see that this this first one is called Widow P.I. and uh, you would have to take on this set of three characters of uh, the uh, Black Widow, Four Star, Colossus, and of course Winter Soldier. That looks fun. I think my choice is going to be this one, which is the Comrade Russia node and you have to take on the Five Star version of Cap and then of course uh, Iron Spider and Iron Man. That looks pretty tough, and I think that's the one we're going to take on as soon as we can here. Now let me also talk about what else we're going to do today. Quick, before we jump into that, we have a uh, Crash of the Titans I've been putting off for the last couple of days, been busy at work, whatever, and we're going to take that on uh, with a Hulk versus a Hulk, and then we have a ton of tokens, over 70 total, inc including 30 heroic, and then um, a whole bunch of latest legends, as many as it takes to get one single five star decided we're going to do that i'll probably do that in a split video so in this one we're going to do the crash the gwen pre and then all of our tokens and the uh character level rewards and uh, that way we split it in two we'll be good to go let's jump into the gwen pre and see if we can win with kind of a challenge team we'll take on the comrade russia with a team of adventure uh, of avengers starring the four star black widow and then we'll bring on, along our own Infinity War Spider-Man. And I thought Ant-Man might be kind of fun. I love to play him. And uh, he plays pretty well with Widow in certain situa situations. Maybe we'll be able to make that work. So let's boost a couple of colors. I think blue and purple would be great. And then red and yellow. Black and green are important powers, more so the black. But I think we'll be able to earn that as we go in the match. So the event here is actually scaled to your roster. It looks at your roster and determines the enemy health level and power ability levels, uh, what they feel is uh, appropriate, appropriately matched to your difficulty. So mine might be higher than yours. Hopefully yours um, um, is easier than this. These guys look pretty tough with uh, 20 to 30 some thousand health pools and I'm starting with uh, 18 to 24. So we're just going to have to outplay these guys. Let's jump into it. What I love is Black Widow's yellow ability. So we're going to prioritize yellow here, and then we'll talk about the other colors after that. Which way do we want to do this match for in Team Up, though, to start things off? Probably this direction, since it takes three red for us also. So we'll use Infinity War Spider-Man's red and green abilities. We'll use Black Widow's yellow and black. We might use Ant-Man's yellow, probably not, but we'll definitely use his purple and maybe his blue. I like that. We have uh, blue is tanked by Iron Spider, so that'll help Ant-Man out. Let's get this black that drops purple. Very nice. So we want to try to prioritize yellow. Oh man, we run good and then they run better, right? So we want to prioritize yellow because that gives us a health boost to whichever ally we want. And then more importantly, it decreases the costs on our AP, um, AP cost for our abilities. So what do we want to do here, black or the white? Let's take a chance with the white. Maybe it drops a yellow down within matchable range. Nope, but they set us up, okay. We have enough to play Black Widow's stun, and it's not just a stun. Her black is a pretty good ability in that it also reduces enemy AP by three every turn that an enemy is stunned. 
And uh, by the way, that's uh, that's a passive side of her black. So if you stun with a different ability, it also reduces enemy AP. Um, well, I'd like to get this black in case it dropped an extra move right there, but it was more likely to leave it for them to match away. So let's just take this green. It wouldn't have set up an extra move, but you never know. A couple more yellow, we can get things rolling here. Uh, white drops purple. And a big drop on red, maybe? Yeah. So great. Now we're running quite well. The enemy team has a bunch of blue. That builds up for Iron Man. I'm not too worried about it. It costs 16 for his blue ability. Red is their most dangerous color, of course. So who's taking any damage? Not much yet. Maybe we'll wait to play yellow until we've taken just a little bit more damage. Um, but I want to get purple started here. We're in great shape with purple. And you know what? I think I have a better idea also. Okay, so let's just get rolling. That's it. I wanted them to play Thwip, which adds a ton of web tiles to the board. And so, should we start this now? I think we better start the process now. Yep, okay. So we're going to play Brush Pass. Nobody's really injured yet, but Black Widow's taken some. Brush Pass is a boost of health to whoever you choose, even Black Widow herself, which is what we're going to do. And then... Good, I'm glad that went into an unmatchable location as opposed to the top right corner. So while Brush Pass Countdown is on the board, it, all our abilities cost 3 AP less for that amount of turns. Cool. Super good. So we'll play Pim Particles. Trap tile that creates attacks every turn. I also want to play Lights Out on enemy Spidey for the stun for three turns. But what's extra good about that is while his while he's stunned, he doesn't um, get the benefit of his defense of the web tiles. He's got a real nice passive that protects him from damage. Now that he's stunned, watch this proportional punch. It only costs seven with the discount. It's going to do 4708 damage plus 1800 for each of his color tiles and half of that for each of his non-color tiles. Check this damage out. It's going to be big. Knockout blow. That is so crazy from a four star. That, we uh, got a real benefit from having him place all those web tiles for us. Okay, let's take on... Cap next, I think, will be the important thing. Now let's watch this trap because within three turns, within four turns, oh, ouch, he got the 18 blue. Are you serious? Oh, man. Unbelievable. How could they get that lucky? All right, so well, now um, we better play lights out on Iron Man, and we're going to have to make him our priority. I didn't want to have to worry about him yet, but he could play his Ballistic Salvo, Salvo, and um, that's a lot of damage, team damage over 7,000. Let's not let that happen if we can help it. So we'll stun him, hopefully, while stunned. Um, we'll randomly reduce AP. Blue would be great. RNG gods, please pick blue. Well, not doing it, so um, one more turn. Well, we better do this again. In fact, all right, here's what we're going to do. While we have the discount from Brush Pass, we better play the Grow ability from Ant-Man. I love this. It only costs six right now because of the AP discount. That's why I want to play it right now. He will remove that trap tile, but does an absolute ton of damage, 16,700, and it removes the trap no problem worth it and uh, fun to watch this animation don't get to see it every day very good all right so um we're gonna renew the stun just to be safe and we'll replace our pimp particles quickly while it's inexpensive okay oh wait 
Do I have to make that purple match? No. I thought for a second that was the only move on the board. And they take it. What a shock. Oh well. Let's see. Let's go this way. Trying to take out Iron Man before he wakes up and plays his blue. Looks like it's not going to happen in time. So because of that, we're going to get hit by the Ballistic Salvo, so, hmm, Let's see if we can reduce some of this damage here, at least for Spidey, yeah, he reduced a bunch of it, the others got hit quite a bit, love that defense though. Wow, what a drop. They got so lucky on those Cascades. We get an extra move. Picks up some yellow. And so, man, what do we do here? Probably we're going to get hit by a red. And Iron Man's red costs 13, so they're not going to play that. But they could be going for it. Like the system could randomly say, well, let's choose which red we're, we're going for. And if we take Iron Man out, then it'll certainly be Caps Red. Caps Red hits really hard. So I want to have Widow up front to keep her from getting injured as much. Man, this is not good. They could play Caps Red right away. If they do, it's going to hit the two in the back. And he takes my yellow down. This is a pretty tough fight, honestly. Well, we can play lights out on cap. Hopefully, the lights out will reduce red randomly. Not seeing it. This is a tough fight. Um, scale to your roster, of course. I probably should have brought along a five-star. Thought we would be doing better than this. We have our proportional punch ready to play again. There's a bunch of web tiles on the board. Oh my goodness, look at this. <laughs> so, we'll play Thwip, Thwip Pow. Bunch of web tiles. Cap has 24,000 health, guys, with all those web tiles. You can stop and add up the damage. We did that before. I don't know if we're going to get it, but this is going to be a huge shot. We got him out. Can you believe it? Nice hit from Iron Spider again. And we get the win. What a win. Hopefully that match was fun for you guys. That was that was pretty fun, although it was more work than I wanted just to get a two-star reward. Every day the rewards uh, continue. They increase a little bit in value as you go along. So good luck in Gwen Pre. Let's try to speed things up here. Jump into the crash of the Titans. We're going to take on the indestructible Hulk with Red Hulk. Cool matchup. Mine's got 28,000 in health, so we have a pretty good advantage going in. And if we make that Hulk angry enough, he'll add a lot of green to the board to help us out quite a bit. So in this matchup, the strategy for me anyway is going to be, uh, yes, go for green to keep it away from him, but also go for purple because Red Hulk's purple is so excellent against enemies that have a green ability. Purple, well, man, there you go, Rick. <laughs> Purple removes all enemy green AP from their team and builds it up for you by about seven, depending on what cover level you have his purple set at. So that's really super helpful. You'll notice, uh, okay, he's at seven green, and I just want to make sure I get my purple ready. And I'm not going to play it yet. I'm going to just see if he gets to 10 green. 
and then we'll be able to play it and remove his green down to zero. Just doing a little bit of match damage here. I, I want to build up my own green, of course, but I think he's going to take, he didn't, he took black. Black is one of uh, his passive colors. I tend to forget that, but anger, I like to set that at cover level five whenever I play that Hulk, by the way. Puts so much green on the board when he gets injured. So he's up to 10. Let's go ahead and play Gamma Siphon. Steals it from him and shoots us up to 14. We can play it again if we want. Let's double check the damage from Hammer and Anvil. If I played it right now, it would cost 9 and do 42, 42 team damage. Of course, it's just going to be target damage. But if we can save up a little bit more for 18 green, we're going to do almost 12,000 team damage. Look at Hulk right over there. You know what we're going to do? Let's do it now. We got so lucky getting all that purple. Let's play Gamma Siphon again just to build it up for us. 21 green. Hammer and Anvil, one of the biggest team damage abilities in the four star realm. 11,159. And there's his anger uh, countdown. That's going to put green on the board. And if there's a lot of green already, it does damage in a little bit to himself and the enemy team. Yeah, no big deal. We're going to take this guy out so quickly. There it is. That was an exceptionally good run. Actually, that can be kind of tough. But with all that purple, had a huge advantage. And we got the legendary token. Awesome. And all the rewards and the progress so far. I'll come back and play some of those, most of those later. If not all. So uh, we're going to do our tokens now. We're going to split the video up in two. We'll do tokens and then um, character reward levels and then we'll split it up and do battle at the basilica and then some versus action in the shield simulator get in some of your character requests let's finish this out right here over 70 tokens guys overall total and gwen pre got the vault everybody got a free token by logging in today Four star Gwenpool uh, and uh, four star Deadpool are available for everyone in this vault, I do believe. And some people have been getting pretty lucky on their one draw. Let's see what we get. Oh, just 2,500 ISO. No big deal. At 100 hero points per draw, I don't know. Maybe I'll do one of those a day for four days, or maybe I'll do more than one per day. I just love Gwenpool. Um, maybe I'll play her in the next event or two, uh, or in, in the Gwen Pre coming up. We'll do another draw and see how it goes. It's not a discount much or anything. <laughs> and was it worth it? Absolutely. The 100 hero point draw got the 4 star Deadpool. Man, the viewer luck is just nuts. Going to do a quick screen cap of that since my uh, friends see how lucky I run. They go, oh, did you uh, do a video today, Rick? Yep, did got lucky <laughs> all right battle we have the event tokens first three tokens here let's see what we can do three star cap is a good start and then gambit and <laughs> did we oh man i fooled myself i thought i clicked on namor but i just tried to quick click it and actually clicked on his cover in the vault oh could we possibly be that lucky let's see just a storm. We'll do the discounted draw here. I think I did that last time where I fooled myself into thinking we ran that well. All right. Would love to come back and get a shot at that Namor or, uh, of course, uh, Colson or Drax are in there as well as potential rewards. Enemy of the State, we ran awesome last time. Only six hours left in this event. Haven't pulled any of the further tokens. We got 22. Let's go. All two stars so far. Darn it, I fooled you guys. Sorry about that. Iron Man. Three star Colossus. I think um, instead of running through this vault level animation, I think we'll just do the quick click from now on. Most of you probably wish I would have done that already. But you have to hit the spot right on. There we go. 
beginner support token. You have to just hit it right in the right spot to do it quickly. Uh, I'm gonna, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it re consistently or not. Thanos, nice hit. Running good on the threes, guys. Totally. Getting every three star possible in this thing, looks like, so far. Not on the front page, but bang, bang. Nice. Sorry if you can hear, hear my quick clicks on the screen. Blade. <laughs> Three-star Panther. Whatever we're doing is working. A lot of three stars, and we have a ton of character rewards to be adding in after all this. Iron Man. Anybody keeping count of how many threes we've earned so far? There's a Drax in here as well as a Vulture or Jean Grey would be awesome. Last draw out of the 22 we started with is another Iron Man. Good run there. Nice. So Red Hulk was today's crash. Totally Awesome Hulk is the next guy up in about a day and a half, so work on your levels if you need to. Doctor's Orders. Got three tokens remaining from that event. Got a gold. Punisher. And we got it with the viewer luck again out of three tokens. We hit a four star. Who is it going to be? Count it down in three, two, one. Four star end game Thanos. I really like this guy. He's um, super helpful versus certain teams, uh, especially a Rocket and Groot essential. Uh, Rocket and Groot and Kitty teams, essentially, especially. Wow, running hot. So we'll come back to the, uh, not the classic legends, but the latest legends. We're up to 49 tokens now. I do want to save up and wait for Storm to kind of rotate out, and that's more than a few weeks away. However, on my last video, we did pull for a five-star, and we got Storm. And I was hoping to get a Professor X or Iceman, so I think our odds today are good that we won't get Storm and maybe we'll pull until we get a, a, a Professor X or an Iceman. That would be the ideal scenario. Let's go through these elites. We got 18 of these. Try to run them off quickly. I know I take too long. Another cap with the cool new cover. The hood. Colossus. We're running hot on Colossus, it seems like, today. Saved up a lot of tokens over the last few days. Okay, so we didn't run as hot per, per pull, per draw, in the elites so maybe we're gonna do some pretty good stuff here in the heroics we got 31 heroic tokens plus the 10 pack i said we'd wait on the 10 pack for my next video last time but i think we'll save it again since we have so many heroics to go through and at 1 in 16 odds of a four star i think we're in really good shape to get a four here if we are going to get one i want you guys to put your guesses down in the comments now before we start and we'll see if anybody gets it right if you guys are ready Let's keep the viewer luck hot and hit it. Gold, that's a three star. Iron Fist. We're moving right along. Make sure and get those comments down. Three star, got Beast. Magneto and bonus hero, hot guy. Nice. That really moves by pretty quick pretty fast when you see that bonus hero presentation and there it is we got the four star did you get your guesses in we'll see if anybody's right i'm going to go ahead and make a guess here i think it's going to be four star captain marvel carol that's my guess i don't know three two one oh my goodness it's ant-man but that's not all guys this is so great Wow, unbelievable. We qualified for the four-star bonus hero, and if you've seen my previous videos, you already know it is Infinity War Captain, or <laughs> Infinity War Spider-Man. I was so excited because I was going to say 
um, in the match against Captain America's team, we played Ant-Man and Infinity War Spider-Man. Don't you wonder if there's some sort of hidden correlations in, uh, in this game when you do tokens? Sometimes I think so. Hey, 20 more. Let's go. Can we get more gold? If you had a guess down and didn't get that, maybe we can have another chance. Three star Spidey. Maybe putting your guesses down increases the odds for that character as we play live, you think? I don't know. Ragnarok. Don't remember ha drawing him very much lately. Running down the tokens. Can we get more gold? There's a three. Punisher. Last one. Two star. We have a daily draw. Can we get gold here? Nope, just a two star. They knew we ran too good earlier and even things out. That's fine because we are going to run in the latest legends, guys. We're going to do as many draws as it takes to get a five star. If we get it in one shot, that's it. We're done. We're going to root um, for Professor X or Iceman. If we get another storm, that's fine. It'll be a great champion level for her. But uh, let's see what we can do. We've got 49 tokens starting. Let me jot that down. I have it listed as somewhere. Yep, I do. Okay, so let's root for Iceman. If we do, let's root for Blue and uh, Professor X. We already have his purple, so it would be great to get his... Oh, I guess probably his blue would be best right now, but uh, anything would be great. Let's start. If you're ready, then your guesses can uh, continue on to here if you had one down from the other area. Let's see who gets it right. Let's start with number one. Go! Four star is Star Lord. And we got a five star on the second try. <laughs> the viewer luck is on it today. This is absolutely going to be Storm, the five star, or it could be Professor X, or it could be Iceman. Who do you think it's going to be now? Count it down in five, four, three, two, one. It's Iceman. And it's his blue. That's the best possible scenario we could have gotten for him. He is at five in yellow, five in green, and only had one level in blue now to claim it. Nice job, guys. We got it done already. We are going to stop there. That'll allow us to have a bunch to pull for the next video. I think we'll do the same thing again. Let's do it. We got to level up our characters. I had something drop off in the bottom right when we were doing that. That's pretty funny hate to lose it had a bunch of one stars go let's see if our two stars are expiring nope is it a three star oh no did i lose a three star well we'll have to take care of it bunch of twos let's level these up i want to get a bunch of uh, three stars and command points saving up command points big time because let me turn that down sorry Well, we're going to, at this point, we're kind of waiting for weeks for Storm to rotate out of Latest Legends. And then we'll draw like crazy from all of our tokens at that point and command points. Should have well over 4,000 by the time Storm moves out and whoever the new 5-star moves in. Nothing's been announced yet or anything. But we're coming up on the MPQ game anniversary. Getting some good three stars here now. In October. So that's about a, less than a month away now. And I imagine they'll have a cool celebration and five star release by that time. I expect. I don't know. Bagman gets a couple levels. 134. He maxes out at 144. Then that's my third Bagman. I've got the other two max champs. Twos are done. Let's go to threes. How many three stars? 62 three star covers. Look at this. Get the X23. And uh, one short of the latest legends. We'll probably get that really soon. Good rewards from Cap at this higher level. He gets a Winter Soldier cover. And the latest Legends token for hitting level 266, Max Champ Cap. Cool. 
Punisher's a duplicate. We need more black and red, looks like. Let's get these guys leveled up and move on. Max Champion Magneto also. Get those legendaries back. We're going to end with more today than I started with after pulling those couple. That's always a good thing. Oh, there's our black for Punisher. I could have clicked that in. Need red, big time. Good rewards. I don't need a lot of ISO anymore, thankfully. Hopefully, you know, once you get to be a vet, I would, at this game, I'm playing for a very long time, in my opinion. There's people that have played a lot longer than me. Look at that. Legendary token from... Gambit there. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, um, I, I've got a lot of five stars champions, so I call myself a vet kind of at this game. And um, I would hope that there would be something to the point where now I don't need ISO 8 as much uh, on leveling up characters. I got all my four stars done, and the five stars are mostly done. And so, man, I'd love to be able to spend that on uh, like token packs, like save up a whole bunch of ISO for 10 packs or something like that. Would be nice. I don't know if they'd ever do it. Extra cover saved on Doom. We can champ him as a duplicate soon as well as Squirrel Girl. No need to do that today, but the next time we do a bunch of tokens, we can do that. Man, I better handle those three stars soon. All right, let's move on. Fours. 17 four-star covers now. Bucky hits a great level. The next... Reward for him is a five-star Infinity War cap. Cool. Looking for command points. X-23 does not disappoint. Same with Star-Lord. Look at this. This is big. Next cover on, on this Spidey, we will get a five-star back in black Spider-Man. I've waited so long for this. Um, that'll actually be a saved cover since it's green, but I could do the swap and finish him out at 13 covers. Uh, everybody's telling me, wait, 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 don't do it. So we'll see. I've done swaps before, and I'm running out of patience. Ant-Man takes a level. Thanos, 281. Deadpool with 5K ISO. Jean Grey. levels let's wait on those black cats let's go down here to Drax 7 CP nice closing in on 27,000 health need another yep one more level to hit 330 on Hulkbuster had these covers for Vulture for a little bit. He's already at 23.6 in health with a little boost from a support token. And Black Cat, we've got the first two. There it is. Legendary token for hitting 280. Nice that she's the reward in the boss event right now. So we're actually going to get another Black Cat cover if we keep going. Hope your team is doing that well. And don't forget Train Iceman Blue. Wow, what a hit, guys. I can't believe it. We can level him up here. Finally at 552. And I do have a saved cover on him. Take a quick check through the five stars. He'll be toward the end. Level 420. And I can level him up for about 52,000 to go to 435. I'll do that off screen, but that's so great. Maybe I'll get him into action in PvP. And that'll be coming up next in a separate video. Make sure and check that out. And like and follow if you could, please. Uh, when I say follow, I mean hit that subscribe button, which is the MPQ icon that you're looking at on the left side. Please subscribe. We're trying to rush up to 500 subs as soon as possible. That would be great. Have a great night, guys. See you in the next one.